Right, <clears throat> this is going to be an impression of the DOE guy who tested this van. Go and watch the other videos to find out exactly what I am talking about. But this is a recreation. This is like exactly what happened. <laughs> It's rusty. Now, that's exactly uh, what happened. Hello, and welcome to another budget and leggy video. Yes, my expert expression. Expression? My expert. Um, that's a bloody crap. My expert recreation of what the DOE tested. Well, actually, to be fair, this was this is actually a lot better than what the DOE guy did. We did a lot worse. Anyway, so we've done loads of videos on this, on mechanical work, on body work, on welding work, on absolutely everything. So you can go and check them other videos out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, on this one, what I can do is, I can repair it the way I wanted to repair the other side. Fingers crossed, I don't know. Um, the other side had loads and loads of fillers up here, so I couldn't repair it how I wanted to. This side... I don't know, and again... You have to, like I explained in the other videos, you have to pick your battles. This is a 2007 transit van, and I know people are going, oh, it's not worth doing, it's not. Why chuck it away? Why just throw it away? That's, this is the problem, we, this is the world we live in. Why just throw it away? Going out, spending 20 grand on a new van, well, not a brand new van, obviously, it doesn't mean you're getting a better van. Yes, this van's old. Yes, this is costing a few quid to repair, but then you're keeping it on the road. Why, why just chuck something away? It just doesn't truly doesn't make sense, um, truly doesn't, what I'm hoping is the back isn't as bad as what it was, so the inside isn't as bad as what it was on the other one, um, if I was going to be making this by hand like I've done on the other side, I, I, I've made panels on the other side, so I'll show you, you can look at videos and how, to, how I did that, very very simple, used in spanners and all sorts, I wouldn't have done this, it's only because we've got a repair panel that essentially covers all this area here. So I don't have to worry about shapes or anything like that. But what I do need to do first is I need to get all this rust out and I need to see exactly where it stops, where it starts and how much of the panel I need and what type of repair I can do. Because again, what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna try and do a lap joint. That's what I'm gonna try and do, because when you're welding something like this, which is very flimsy panels in a big area, the panel's gonna to wanna to warp. And again, this is only a transit, it's not really the end of the world if it does, but you know, you just you still want it kind of good. So, and the lap joint is like the scotch lock of the automotive wheel. People just think it's terrible, where it just acts as if you do a lap joint properly in the right way, um, they're great and I've proven on the other videos that basically essentially every single join in a car is a lap joint all these joins down here all this sill down here is essentially a lap joint and all the water can sit onto it and rust it that's what actually I won't clean it out I'll show you because that's what happens that's how it rusts so the lap joint I'm gonna do rather than doing a lap joint like this so you can see my fingers here so where the water can settle on there I'm gonna spin it around so the water can't settle, it runs off. Imagine it like the roof tiles on your house. They're overlapped, and yet the water doesn't get underneath unless there's an issue. So I'm gonna have it in such a way where my lap joint is, is facing downward so the water can't sit there. But the, the key thing is on any repair, no matter what joint you do, is, is protecting it. So I will show in another video how to protect it properly. I'm gonna use wax oil inside here. Even if you do, and you can clearly see here, someone's done it here, put a repair panel over it, the weld on the inside still traps moisture and water. 
So even if you do a, a nice weld here, you grind it down nice and flat so no one can see it on the outside, that weld's still penetrating through. You've still got lumps and bumps on the inside where water can sit. So, you know, there's, it's just fucking idiots that don't know what they're talking about, who think they know what they're talking about, and they haven't got a fucking clue. Um, right, first thing I'm going to do, because obviously we have to be careful here, because we've got the body of the car. This is going to be spot welded down here and spot welded across here. What I'm going to do first is get my grinder, and I'm going to try and cut off as least of this as possible. I want to do it in a nice kind of an arc because that's going to be the easiest way for me to do a nice lap joint on the other side i did like a step joint which i didn't want to do it that way it's just because of the the, um, the filler we, we came across so we kind of had to do it that way so let me get this off first and see what we're dealing with but anyway this is the biggest problem inside here look, look at all this crap see this this is muck, this is water, this is old bits of rust and everything. And that's what happens. There's channels underneath here, which I have shown how to make that in other videos. Hold on, see if we can get it in there, maybe not. There's one here, it's all blocked. Anyway, that channel, what that's designed to do is let water and crap out. And them channels get blocked. See, you can see them here, look. We've got channels here, channels there. They all get blocked and then Everything builds up here and rusts this panel from the outside, from the inside out. That's, that's what happens. This is a great explanation of how stuff happens up. See? It blocks all the holes and it physically just cannot drain. And then all this lovely stuff happens. The only good thing is that all feels quite good so I think this side's definitely not as bad as the other side because the other side all this was done inside here and I don't think it is on this one also another good thing to see yes you can see where it's rusty but you can see here, look, we've got shiny paint now. It's obviously a shiny metal. When you look at it on the other side, just look how rusty it is. This is going to be rusty all the way up, essentially. So, but again, where do you stop? You have to stop at kind of good metal. And that all feels good metal. Like I could just keep going and going and going, but where do you stop? back right in my boat anyway you can now see that we have that, see big holes where all the crap can come through I can see here it's gone through here look so I'm gonna have to repair that has gone through there but very very small the other one was completely gone so again that's better because that means a lot less work but this side here is completely gone which wasn't on the other side so we also have a rubber bung here which is what we can use for putting even there's big holes here as well are supposed to be there but we can also use that for putting all the wax oil sealer in afterwards but yeah right what i'm going to do off camera i'm just going to grind and cut all these spot welds out and get this lip off so i i'm, I'm clearing all the crap away then we can really see what's going on how much I need to repair, what I can get away with, what I can't get away with.
gone up there too. Yeah, patch has gone up there too. So I'm gonna have to cut a bit of that out, a bit of that out, a bit of that out. It's maybe just as much work on this side as it was the other side. Bagger. Well, as you can see, I've been doing a lot of cleaning. We've got a big hole there. Normally, I wouldn't be cutting any rust out that I have to hand make. But because this is a very, very easy straight panel, I'm just gonna weld from here to here, just a straight panel. Then I'll put the hole in afterwards or before I haven't really decided yet. I'm just gonna weld a panel over this. You know, obviously cut all that out, weld a panel over that. Just again, flat panel on that. I haven't even considered looking at this yet because when you get something like this, don't get overwhelmed with the whole thing. I'm not even thinking about this. I'm not thinking about this. I'm just thinking about two little patch panels that I'm gonna make and put over there. Do everything separately and its own little job because if you're thinking about this as one complete job, you're gonna be thinking, oh shit. And it kind of gets overwhelming. So you just don't, just ignore it. Pretend this is, just ignore it. Pretend this isn't here. Pretend this isn't here. Just completely ignore it. I'm not going to film doing this on camera because I've already done similar things on the other side. So I'm literally just going to get a panel in there, weld it to there. I'm not even going to grind down the weld here because this, lucky enough, this is absolutely solid metal. It, this only has to be flat here. This doesn't have to be flat. This doesn't have to be flat. And this doesn't have to be flat. So in other words, the weld is going to be all the way around there. It's going to be inside. You're not going to be able to see it. There's no point me grinding it down. Same with this. Once I cut out this, I put a plate over here. I'm not even going to grind the weld down. I'm just I'll seal it. I'll use sealer like I did the other side. And I'll protect all this rust. And I'll put rust converter on it. And I'll wax oil it. I'll do all that. But... I'm not going to be grinding down the welds because it's absolutely pointless and it's a lot of wasted time. You're never ever gonna see it, so pointless. So once I've done them, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with that and then we'll turn the camera back on. Right, couple of things. I've, I put patches in here. Um, like I said, I, wasn't, I didn't record it because it was just very, very simple patches. I wasn't gonna record this, but then I thought, you know what, I might as well. Again, it's a very, very simple patch, see? It's just a straight bit with a bit of an angle. That's all it is. All these bits of patches I've got so far, they're either off the wing or they're off the other side uh, repair panel. They're all off cuts, that's all they are. Because this doesn't need to be anything fancy. We just need to get the rust out and uh, get it, get it, you know, good metal again. Just because the hole is here, there's a lot of pitting around here. So I'm gonna replace all of this here in one foul swoop. And the way I'm gonna do it, like I said, I just literally cut that out and bent it in the vise with a little hammer. That's all I've done. Uh, very important thing, especially when you repair it, when you're welding inside a panel, is light. I had a light shoved up here. I don't really see anyone talking about it. I just had a light, an LED light shoved up here, shining on, because as soon as you put the mask on, it's very difficult to see and you just can't see what you're doing properly and everything just turns to crap straight away. Right, what I'm going to do is, I haven't prepared that very well, have I? we've got good metal around the top but crap metal everywhere I've put some rust remedy on it to get it all all the rust treated but because this is all just surface rust apart from obviously where I'm putting the repair panels that's gone through but everywhere else is just surface rust so we don't need to do anything fancy what I am going to do just to make my life easier rather than holding this I'm just going to get trying to hold this and get the first weld in it's just Normally quite difficult, so let's just line that back up nice and flat with our inside of our panel. Do 
Nah, don't need to bloody hold it. Awesome. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna spot a few spot welds all the way around on top of the existing panel. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut through the weld and through the old panel and line this panel up and then weld it in all the way, which will push this panel down. The old bit will come out and it's gonna be a perfect repair. Because for you to try and cut that out and line up the cut um, repair panel, it's just a lot harder. This one, to be fair, is easy because you can get to the back of it. It wouldn't be too difficult. But, you know, this way is just, just easier. Trust me. Nope. I need my light back because I can't see what I'm doing. can't see what I'm doing. Anyway, that's two welds, two, two spot welds there. What we're gonna do is just get get that sitting down. A couple more spot welds. my mask this time because I can't see what I'm doing anyway. My light is on charge, I'm missing. That's why you need, ah for God's sake. Oh, I keep missing it. I need my light. Right. Just put one more there. I'm gonna get these out of the way. So that essentially now is welded on top of our old panel, which is obviously, I mean, technically what I could do is I could just keep welding that and leave it because most repair panels on bands like this would just be welded over the top just to pass the test because again you you're not gonna be able to get paid to do a proper repair um and that's all the customer wants we're doing it slightly differently on this van but underneath anyway inside not so much on the outside but underneath would just be panels welded on top of each other because you're not gonna get paid for doing it any other way and i don't know about you but I ain't working for three, especially when you're talking about welding and everything, it takes such a long time. The gas, the welder, everything is so, so expensive. It's not just, it's not cheap. Now, that is all, not a great weld, but anyway, that is all welded. So what I'm gonna do now is very simple. Get my grinder. I need to change my blade first. Or will I? No. I'm going to have to go a bit more, I think. Oh no. You just get that. So I've cut through both panels. I can now bend this top panel to line up with my old panel. 
I like to leave, because it's a one mil disc, I like to leave a one mil hole, because as you grind, now, not that this is important, but as you grind it down, if you was to leave a perfect butt joint, not that you can with this method, but if you was to leave a smaller gap, what happens is when you grind down the weld, you're grinding down 99.9% .9 of the weld. It's not going to be very strong. So if you have to grind down the weld, at least you know you've got a one mil gap internally, which is going to be very strong. So I can now just push that down to meet that bit of weld there. I'll just do that first quickly. Yeah. So I've just got that there. I'm going to have to cut a bit more on the top to get this corner down. Now I've cut through a lot there. Normally you wouldn't do that. It's just because I can get away with it because of the size of the panel and everything. I was not cooling down the weld. Do not, under any circumstances, cool down the weld with a gun because all you're going to do is shrink that a lot more and you're going to cause a lot more warpage. I was just getting all the crap out so I could see my panel. I need to push that down there, see if I can... So at the minute, it's hitting here and at the minute, look, we've got a big gap here. But when I push this down flat, look at this, see? It completely goes flat and we'll have it and if I was to grind all this weld off I can, I'm only going to grind this bit and this bit so the the new bit fits flush I'm going to leave all this bit but if I was to grind all that weld down that would be perfectly flush and you would never know it's been done well to a degree I need to get a torch because I can't see how what I'm welding all right the problem is I put the torch down in here and it blinds the camera so I can't use it I can actually keep cutting all the way through now. You wouldn't cut this much out if you're doing an important panel because it'd want to go on you. But because this is very small and it's got a bend on it, it's very strong. It's not really moving on me. All the way through, I think it has. What I'm going to do is get this old. Yeah, old panel's coming off. All right, so let me get is there a spot weld somewhere there. I'm not even gonna wear my gloves. Going full rogue. Obviously, I'm not looking at it. I'm looking away, but. Now, completely cut through. See that, look. Old panel gone. This panel, now once I bring it to there, is perfectly in line and we're golden. So, and like I said, we've cut it perfectly to our shape that we need. So, what I'm going to do is get that welded down into there we've got a one mil gap which is what i like that's just personal preference it's all up to yourself i'm using 0.8 mig wire so i can get away with the one mil gap quite easily there we go what i'm going to do is just off camera because i need my light here's the light that i was using it opens up so I'm just going to spot weld all around there now and I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished. Right and there we go, it is all done, it is nice and flat so when our new panel comes in we're going to spot weld our new panel to this. So that's really good and you might be thinking well what, hold on why didn't you make that as part as this. I've done that on the other side so when you watch the other video I completely made this panel by hand with these two complete cutouts and I actually made these cutouts with a spanner. So I just want to show you, you know, different ways. You don't necessarily always have to do it the same way. And if you're not confident enough you can do that, you can make this piece separately. 
So that's why I did it this way for this particular video. So I'm basically going to do the same thing again just for this, but this one's going to have to have a few different angles going in. It's not just going to be one angle, there's going to be one, two, three angles on this. So I just wanted to show that um, how easy it is really. You know, again, if I was to grind that weld off, it would be completely flat like this. See? Absolutely flat. And the fact that I've left the one mil gap behind here now um when i've grinded that flat i've still got one mil of what well, i've actually got a bit more because on the inside but essentially at least one mil of uh weld there if you was to butt weld that and grind it off flat you're gonna have hardly any weld there and it'll crack that now is solid see i'm moving the whole panel by moving that it's solid and again what i will do is and i've shown it on the other side is i'm just going to use sealer to seal all my welds and then I'm going to etch prime it for the bare metal. Then I'm going to undercoat it. Then I will, um, again, I've showed this on the other side. Then I will um, put some red oxide on it. But then I'm going to show a video on how to uh, seal your panels properly. Because we've got special holes here. And I'm, I don't know if I'm going to drill a hole in this yet. I might, I might not. I don't think I will because we've got holes here and with, the, and with the machine I've got to wax all this, it will get all that. And I'm going to show you how to wax all it. And that's the important part. If you was to keep these passages clean and use to wax oil this every couple of years, if you got it brand new, let's say, I guarantee you this will never, ever, ever happen. It's, the, it's these blocking up. It's the water and the crap sitting there, which is causing it to rust over years and years and years and years. So anyway... That is how you do it, so simple. I'm gonna weld this up, and then what we can do is we can actually get to fitting our main panel on top. Okay, I've talked about this on my other videos, so go and check them out, about body forming. And it's amazing what you can do. So what I've done is I've just cut out this piece here. It's amazing what you can do when you weld a few bits onto the car and smack it with a hammer, and you form it on the car. I call it body forming. Um, Right, what I could do is I could just weld this from behind here. It would still give me a little bit of a gap for the crap to come down. I could just put a flat piece straight across and not worry about it. You know, there's loads of things I can do. Again, I don't need to get this absolutely perfect. So this is why I'm showing you this. We've still got one over here, which to be fair is actually, that's not good. Can you see that? There's a load of um, body stuff in there. So it's actually making that. <laughs> It's actually stopping the stuff from coming out. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this. As you can see, this is way too big. It's just an off cut. But I'm going to weld this to this edge first, just to this edge. Then I'm going to start smacking it with a hammer. And I'm going to body form it. I'm going to create this lip in it. It's not going to be as perfect and as nice as that. I could come in with the hammer first. Oh, sorry, I could bend a 45 degree bend in here first, which actually, should I do that? No, I'll do it all with body forming because at the end of the day, this doesn't have to be perfect. As long as we've got a, you know, a divot there to make it, I just want to show you what you can actually do. So once I weld this, I'll be bending this, coming across to here. Once I know I've got it right, I can then cut this off and weld this side. Because I could, maybe cut this a bit more and then well and well both sides of it and then body form which would be a lot better or a lot easier should i say but this is quite a big it's quite a big indentation we want to create and i just don't know the metal might split so what i'm going to do first is just gonna Put this on here. Let me. Get that level. Right. Now I can physically weld that down there.
I'll leave that on there. Not that I mean it's tight, but it's the, the, the metal will still push that. And I'm just debating whether I should get something behind it first. I'll just use this hammer as a dolly behind it, but basically starting at this edge. It's maybe stopping me a bit more than I thought it would, to be fair. Now, that is already created a really nice indentation in that. I tell you, it's amazing. It's amazing what you can get when you do something like this, I just want to I just want to get that welded maybe to here now before I go any further. I'll show you in a minute from looking up down here when I put some a piece across you'll be amazed of just how much that has gone in. Now we can do a couple of different things now. I can weld this piece of metal all the way across like I did before, cut it out, do the same procedure as this and then take the last piece out of there which to be fair, I think that's what I might do. Um, but what I will do, just for shits and giggles, I'm just going to weld this corner and I'm going to show you just how much that's gone in there. Now, like I said, this isn't for anything that's going to be seen. So if you're going to do any body forming, you don't really want to be doing it on the outside. Like, you're not going to really be able to body form this line you know, and get it perfect. I mean, you could, but Jesus Christ, you'd be taking for ages. You'd be better off just doing it kind of properly. Um, but for something like this, when you just want something that it's not important if it's not perfect, but it's still got the shape there and it's going to be good enough. Um, so. I'll show you that and imagine can I uh, get something across there right I haven't knocked off the weld there so that's what's causing that to lift up but if I turn you on inside now that's the original one okay we come across here and look at that one that I just made you see once I knock off the weld on that that will that will lay completely flat but you can see just how good that is and how quick that was making it on the on the van so body forming really does have its place but again like i said it really only has its place for places where you can't really see and it's not that important you get it 100 percent you know once i weld around this and put the other plate on yes it's not it's not as it's not as clean as that it's not as good as that but i mean it's still way passable and it only literally took well as you see it didn't take that long at all so Body form has its, has its place, 
you just got to pick and choose your battles where you use it right that is all done so i've done the body form we've put all the panels on what i'm going to do now is i'm going to uh i've just put some more um rust treatment on it. then i'm going to etch prime it i'm going to do all my prime and all my sealing i've done a video on that so check that out but you'll see what it looks like when i come to do the video on actually putting this top piece on so as always hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted